Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I have a game for you that you could maybe try at your house. Um, I found my little Easter eggs that I was using yesterday. And, you know, I usually have them with all the Easter stuff and the Easter baskets. But if you have any of these little Easter eggs around, there's a cool little math game that you could play. It's kind of like Trash to Treasure, that, a game that we play in our classroom. And all you need is a piece of paper. You put a happy face and a sad face. Um, if the equation in the egg is true, then you're going to write it on this side. If it's false or not true, then you put it over here. So for example, um, mom or dad or even brothers and sisters can make some facts on little strips of paper and put them in the eggs. Now if you don't have an egg, that's fine. Put them in a bowl. Do something like that. Put them in a cup. Whatever you have. But <clears throat> a little Easter um, fun way to do it is to put them in these little plastic eggs. So I have my equation. I have to read it. It says 10 minus 3 equals 5. Is that true? No, that's false. So I would write that equation, 10 minus 3 equals 5, on the sad face, because that's not true. That's false. All right, my next one is, whoa, 16 minus 8 equals 8. Well, I know my doubles, and I know 8 plus 8 is 16. So 16 minus 8 is 8. So that's true. So I would write that equation on the happy face. So this is a true and false game. Just something fun to keep you learning, keep you going through the breaks. Um, yeah, so it's a fun little game for you guys to try. All right. Now, for today's lesson, we are actually going to review some money because we don't want to forget over the break our money. All right. So, oh, and I linked the Dr. Jean money song to my playlist, the one that we sing in class. So if you like that money song, you can watch it. It's not the little dance, but you can show your family how we do it in our class with the little song and video. Okay? All right, so let's review. We have Penny, Abraham Lincoln, and a building's on the other side. That's one cent. Okay. Nickel, Jefferson, a building, five cents. Roosevelt, dime, 10 cents. It has the torch on the back. Uh, Washington, uh, um, eagle, sometimes the states, remember, but we're gonna just work with the eagle. Washington, 25 cents, a quarter. Good job. All right, so we are gonna go shopping today. And I hope you had time to play a store or restaurant with your family. Uh, I found some old photos of my girls actually playing restaurant with all their little stuffed animals around and uh, they had a menu and they could practice with their cash register. It was a lot of fun. So I hope you had time to do that. If not, that's okay too, but we're going to go shopping today. All right, well, let's go shopping. I want to eat these cheeses. Oh, these are the white cheddar cheeses. Yum. Miserable wants to buy cheeses. They cost 90 cents. So think of a way that you can make 90 cents. Now, if you think of one way fast, try to make two ways. Okay? All right, give it a try. I'm going to use my whiteboard. And I know Miss Herbal told me that if I have a big number, I should probably use some quarters. So I'm going to do the quarter song in my mind. All right. So I know 25, 50, 75. I know 75 and one more dime would be 85. And I'm getting really close to that 90. 75, 85, 90. Hmm. So 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. I need five more. And I know that's a nickel. So that's one way to do it, all right? What's another way you could do it? Right, nine dimes. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, all dimes would be 90. Yeah, two different ways. And I encourage you to use other different ways too on your board or when you have extra time. All right, erase it speedy quick. Let's go shopping again. This time, ooh, these cookies, these little bags of cookies. They are gonna cost us 45 cents, 45 cents. 
Hmm, how could I make 45 sets? It's not a very big number. I think we could use one quarter is 25. <gasps> oh, okay, I'm gonna start with 25. All right, if I have 25 and I keep adding 10s, I know I can do 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. Yeah, I can count by 10s. So 25 and 10 more is what? 35, good. So another 10 would be 45, good. 25, 35, 45, good. What's another way I could do it? I could use tens, right? So let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then I need five. Now you can do five pennies or just a nickel if you have a nickel, a five, 40, five. Good job. All right, erase the speed quick. Hmm, one more shopping adventure. Let's pretend we want, ooh, these are kind of expensive cookies. They're 98 cents. Yeah, 98 is close to a dollar. I probably would use a dollar if I was at the grocery store. But let's pretend I don't have a dollar, just have change. And you wanna make 98 cents. It's a pretty big number. All right, yeah, I definitely wanna put all my quarters that I have. Good, that's 75, right? 25, 50, 75. And 10 more would be 85. And 10 more would be 95. <gasps> 95 is really close to 98. 95, 96, 97, 98. I need three more cents. How could I do that? Yeah, with those pennies. Nine, let's see, 25, 25, 50, 75, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 98 cents, and then I could buy those cookies. Good job. All right, erase the speedy quick. There's lots of other ways you could do it too, by the way, huh? Did you come up with a different way? Good. All right, in our packet, if you were able to pick it up from school, and if not, I want you to try to get over to school and get that, and uh, message me and I'll get it to you. If not, this is all coming from the Moffitt Girls packet, the first grade packet, it's a three week packet. And these two money pages are in that packet. Those girls are wonderful. Uh, Mom and Dad, if you wanna look up Moffitt, it's M-O-F-F-A-T, Moffitt Girls. Um, yeah, M-O-F-F-A-T-T, -T, Moffitt Girls. Here are those two pages that are in your packet. One is uh, counting nickels, so it's gonna be super easy because it's counting by fives. And this one is uh, counting the money that you have. So you gotta add them up. Be careful, look really closely at the presidents on there, okay? All right, so happy learning. Get started on your money pages.